Hi, I'm Noel, I'm a teacher and the rigor at Acapa. Hello, my name is Johannes and I'm a second year student and I study static trapeze. Hello, I'm Jean-Baptiste and I study static trapeze too in second. Hi, I'm Lede, I'm an aerospace engineer and I'm also a second year student specializing on Chinese folk. So we are here to present you our third talk. Our third talk is about uh, artistic uh, research and reading connected together. And we have decided to make this talk to walk you through all the process from planning to realization of uh, the project. Students interested in the project should give us a reading this year, which will contain the following points. A description of the project, including drawings, a detailed planning and a budget plan, and the video script. Two projects were selected, Le Samier and Square Circle. To realize our projects, we structured them into five different milestones and four different phases. The first milestone is the project initiation, which is followed by initiation and concept phase. The second milestone is the project start, which is connected to the planning and preparation phase. Once completed, the execution phase starts. It is then followed by a conclusion and evaluation before the project ends. At the initiation phase, we come up with our ideas. In this case, we were inspired by the deconstruction of our discipline and the combination of solid bars and pole and tension rope. We both wanted to create a self-standing structure to be independent of the location rigging points. This is what led us to the concept of tensegrity. Tensegrity is a type of structure where elements under tension are held in equilibrium by elements under compression resulting in a stable and strong configuration. It is a principle that can be observed in both nature and man-made objects, such as muscles, cells, bridges and build. We had to settle our designs by choosing the shape, dimensions and materials. It was helpful to build 3D models and simulations with our desired dimensions. We also built scaled down models of our designs to understand them better. I performed a load test on my model to see how it reacts under stress, like compression and torsion. In order to choose steel as my material, I used my engineering knowledge to perform some initial structural calculations. Our final choice was aluminium trusses because they are light, resistant and widely available, which made our project easy to reproduce. For the connection, we chose Technora rope because they have an excellent tensile strength and fatigue resistance, and we can adapt it easily to our needs. We got selected! <laughs> As we're using the same principles and we'll work with the same rigging techniques, it made sense to learn and work together. They have more practical rigging experience, whereas I have the engineering knowledge and some filming experience. In this phase, we finalized our budget and we made the general schedule of the project to meet our milestone in time. We also had to learn about splicing and conclude the design of the connection of our two parts. Moe supervised our rigging decision and taught us different techniques of rigging, such as splicing. We had to make some adaptations to our designs due to the short time frame and costs. For example, we had to change our structure into a square shape. I had to change my dimensions to the industry standard length of tubes and I switched from steel cables to Vectrum rope. We also chose Vectrum rope for the lashing system that will apply tension to our structure because it can be used for smaller bending ratios than Technora ropes. As I have a longer time frame, I also used the space to improve my model I've run some structural simulations in the Abacus software. This helped me finalize my dimensions, see how the tubes will compress, 
and also see how the load is distributed through them. My project's execution phase started by ordering the straight tubes and beginning the manufacturing process by bending them. The arrival of the trusses bumped us into the execution phase with the build-up of our structure. Good preparation and calculation allowed us to build quite fast and without major complication. While building this new structure, we became aware of the risk that it involved and learned about safety and good practice. With the appropriate safety measures, we took time to explore the physical and artistic possibilities of our structure. We used dynamometers to test the structure's limits while applying dynamic loads. Apart from concluding that it was safe, we were very happy to see that the estimations matched the reality. I will continue to work on my project to finish building the initial model and improve it. For example, by breaking the tubes into sections for easier storage or even by painting it to improve it aesthetically. Working on JB and Johannes' project has taught me a lot of things that I can apply to my own project in the future. The evaluation and conclusion phase is the point to look back and reflect on the process and outcome. We are really grateful for the opportunity to make our vision come true. We have learned so much about rigging, safety and problem solving this project has motivated us to get creative and to keep on developing our rigging skills. This phase can be also used to think about the future possibilities of our project. We would like to realize our initial idea by building a circular version of our structure. Also, we are excited to do further artistic research and hopefully develop our own show or use the structure for a group production in our school. As you can see in this video, with the correct planning and methodology, you can actually let students explore rigging possibility in a safe environment. By making this video, we want to inspire others to make their own artistic rigging projects. We would like to thank FedEx and Erasmus Plus to give us the opportunity to realize this project.